Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode four of my Drezoth the Ashen campaign. We left off last time. We have just gone over here and done our quest battle to unlock the location of all of the runes. One of which is slightly up north through Goldtooth, and the other of which is across on the island with the lizard men. If I remember that correctly. Yes, the good old lizard men, the dragon fang. Capital, we have to destroy an army over there, or the one up north that's quite close is to take a settlement. They're both minor runes. It's that one, in fact. Uh, the lesser ancestor rune, we have to take Karak Azorn. The other one further up, win the following battles, ancestor relic of Belaya. One further crop, ancestor relic of Grimnir. De defeat the following lord's army in battle, bard in Bruhammer. Cult of Morgan. Take Castle Drakenhof, and the other one will be a battle again. The major ones are all battles. The other ones are a mix between taking settlements or taking or destroying a lord's army. We have five lesser and three major that we can claim. So I'm at the point, basically, I'm not at war with anybody, which is crazy for a Chaos Dwarf. So I'm trying to decide which way to go. Goldtooth has just turned up on our border from the north, and I think he's going to be a problem. He has... he just has a straight minus 20, but that could get worse. To the south, we have actually been issued a mission to pick a fight with... what are they called again? The Moon Howlers. They've only got three settlements. One, two, and I'm going to guess three in here, quite possibly. Or somewhere around here, anyway. It is part of this, so it's Darkhold, yet to be discovered. And the other one, one I can get a rune, is to come and take these guys out. There's a Lord's Army, I think, somewhere on this island, if the ping is correct. And it would basically then to come and be take out Dragon Fang Mount. Now, so I'm undecided in which way to go. However, we have just done our quest battle, so it's going to take us a turn to get back to basically the point where we have to even make a decision to go north or south. So we've got a bit of time to actually make that decision. So other than that, the things we were looking at, we have to look at our province and we have to decide what we're building and what we're doing. The other thing we have, I don't know why I'm clicking on the drill, we have enough influence to get another seat in the Tower of Zao. We actually can get the second seat now. So nobody else has claimed one yet. Income set was 25%, grants random follower banner ancillary. Diplomatic relations plus 20 with Chaos Dwarf Warriors of Chaos and Norska. Income from trade tariffs plus 50%. That wouldn't be too bad. Maybe get some trade on the go. Start boosting the economy. Grants random weapon or armor ancillary every three turns. Armaments plus 25 per turn. Armor output plus 5. Not too worried about that. Campaign movement range 50% after winning a battle or... Armor plus 30, melee defense plus 24, immune to psychology, affects allies in range all. So I drop it down on, on an area. It basically allows me to do that in battles, which could be useful, especially when I start switching to my hobgoblin style army, although that's going to be a while off yet, I'm not going to lie. Campaign movement range after winning a battle... Okay, let's have a look. Casualty replenishment rate plus six. Grants around magic or talisman ancillary. Armaments cost minus ten percent for all unit capacity. Winds of magic power is, uh, could be useful. I mean, I'm playing Drizoth. Casualty replenishment rate. Kind of. I mean, I say I wouldn't. Kind of wouldn't mind getting the raw materials and armament outputs plus five percent in finishing this district, but. That kind of depends a lot on what the other people want to do as well. I mean, for another, they're just going to steal my seats anyway, so. Maybe I attempt, maybe I do that and attempt to get some, some diplomacy out. Let's see how people feel about me. That is minus one and going up. That is 15 and going up. Minus 39 and zero and also going up. Because I have treaties with these guys. Um, right, so yeah, maybe... It's not... Yeah, it's not really... 
Well, if it leads to a lot of trade, then it is quite useful, to be fair. But that's if it leads to a lot of trade. That is actually directly useful in but I mean armor plus 30, melee defense plus 24. That is pretty big. It's at a 55 meter range, it lasts 26 seconds, and it has a 120 cooldown. Do you know what? I'm gonna get that, because then to be honest with you, I have a feeling no one's gonna take console anyway. So I'm gonna get armor of contempt, and then potentially come back for console next time. Yes, let's go for that. And then the last thing we have to do, of course, it thinks we can build in the Haunted Forest, which we can. But it's kind of a nothing province, to be honest with you, unless I could get more corruption, because I'm actually losing corruption, which is um, bad, quite frankly. Because it's also then destroying my control as well. There's nothing that particularly gives me corruption. I love that. <laughs> Raw material consumed per turn by buildings. There's going to be none of that happening here, I can tell you that much. Um, -dum 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 -dum. Don't need defenses. Chaos undivided corruption plus three. That's pretty much it. Hey, just the signal fires. Which would mean having to upgrade this to a level 3 just to get that. So, I mean, that being the case, I think it's a case of kind of just waiting and then putting some recruitment buildings in here. And maybe using it as a little recruitment hub. As for this place, we have... Ah, yes, that's why I wanted to take my time. We have plenty of labor and plenty of construction going on that needs to 70 these will need yeah 450 i assume the same 450 and 90 that's a bit more gold per turn i think that's going for an upgrade what have i got to spare 700 give or take let us rush that construction Oh, hello. Captured in battle. The Western kin are slaughtered one by one and offered as sacrifice to Hashut, the father of darkness. The great bull god is pleased with the savage offerings and reveals the locations <laughs> of eight dwarfen relics. That's a little bit out of time. I thought that was coming because I... Built a level 3 Overseer Tower. Uh, 4,005. That will increase the workload by 100, along with the raw materials. Let's chuck that in. And then, yes. Control 1, faction-wide. Control 2 in adjacent provinces. I think I want that. That's our control 2. Or... And your success chance. And the last one is, of course, the signal fires. So no, we want to go for the relic, basically. Minus 21, also losing 5. I won't use an action yet, because that'll put me dangerously close to my limit. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't rush. That's the wrong button. Do I put that in instead? Four turns. And adjacent provinces. All adjacent provinces. And it's going to help quite a lot. Could, of course, upgrade that for a bit more money, but that will take my resources... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna aim for the I'm gonna stick with going for the raw materials. So that'll be all the building. We have a convoy comes in in one turn and gets me 400 labor, give or take. Ah, so with that, on that note, coming in and giving me 400 labor, 
I am going to increase control. Then if we check this, whoops, quick deals, again, just those guys, no, sure that means there's a chance, but no, it's just them again. So let's end that turn there, and let's see if anybody declares war on me. Oh, no, this is because I have a convoy up here. It's like, oh, these people are, these people are ambitious, I'm miles away. Okay, so Clan Crizor, yep, they were the guys just up here. Goldtooth has destroyed them. So he's on just a minus twenty. Uh, I also got a few things. Convoy complete. He gets the bones of the more armor plus fifteen ability fire breath. Hello. He gains rank bone to pick. Income from all buildings plus 10% faction wide. Nice. A thaumaturgist in one of your provinces has been tasked with squeezing greater profit from industrial processes. Nice. Very nice. So... I mean, I don't trust him in the slightest. However... Oh, he is at war with the dwarfs, so hopefully they'll actually keep him busy. I mean, he's only got a minus 20 for me, so in that case, I am going to go south. Looks real rather without a cause. We have four turns to get the bonus for the treasury as well. Where are we? We're here. Yeah, I am going to keep going south without trespassing. Although as well. Cinderbrage. Oh, let's start underway jump. Get you to there. Goals and skill points for my convoy overseer. We will get skills. We can do buildings. We can also send out a military convoy. Have okay money. Add a new convoy. Get one more bull centaur master or covert. Slaughter convoy army has additional infernal guard units. Character experience per turn. Ambush defense chance plus 25%. Yep, I quite like that one. He will go for... What have we got? One nine, so we can... Hang on, wait. Uh, wait a second. Let's... Let's improve that slightly. And so then if we go to... Over there... With full size, we can get 340. Or oh, where else can we go? Oh, that's a long one. That's eight, but it does get me 786. How many armors do I have? 651. I should probably spend some of those. Five hundred and twenty. I get thirteen thirty-one. I can get 786. It's a long journey, though. It's eight turns. That's that's actually nine, so it's even longer. That's seven, which isn't too bad. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to stick to that. I think I'm going to stick to using my gold for now. So let's dispatch you. Eight turns. If I have a chance to shorten that for an event, maybe I should take it. Again, not really anything with you. Out of curiosity, does that? No, it doesn't skip. It is... Oh, yeah, it does. It is not per province. It's buildings in general. I am... I'm 
probably going to look to upgrade you again. I need 1,800. How are we doing on labor? We just got a whole load more back in. This will take 450. No, that's all we can afford. I can, however, rush this. So let's do that. That then... Okay. As I do all the little things, I'll keep getting my pop-up messages. They're a little bit out of sync currently on this. Of course, I need a slot open for timber. Which will get me plus 50% armaments when I get the right technology. But they will also get me a lot of armaments. So I'm not going to put the armament building in this one because I will simply use the timber. I can get ironworks to start to get magma cannons. Or I can get That takes more raw materials, though, so I'm not really up for that. Raw materials output plus 10%. Well, I'm kind of up for that. I'll stick that one in, get 10 more percent raw materials. Can I rush that as well, actually? 180. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, how many turns are going to take me to get south? That'll put me on, what, 600 and something? No, I'm not going to do that. I think it's going to be a couple of turns till I get down south to a fight. So we'll not rush that for now. I mean, one. Yeah. It'll take me a while, put it that way. And so we are going to end the turn there. In fact, what I'm going to do is remove that. Petas da Grungron! Keep my armaments growing stupidly large. And maybe I will just send a convoy out with them next time. Of course, I need... It'd be lovely to get a second convoy. You can get it very high in technology, or you can actually get it through the Tower of Tsar. Oh! Oh, they've confederated. Okay. Where exactly are you going, my good friend? I am on minus 24. Trespass against Tepox spawn. And it's deteriorating. Okay. Mine's improving, actually. Okay. War with the Legion of... Isn't that... Me? They approve of my war with me? No, that's... Hang on, am I at war with somebody? Lamian sister... No, that's him, sorry. I'm at war with Cult of Morgrim. And the Sacred Host of Dev Park. Oh. oh, that is... That is the army I have to kill, I think, for... Oh, is he coming to me now? Interesting. So you can get that far, or you can get further with a forced march. However, I'm interested in him coming to say hello. I mean, next turn, he won't get far, but I think he's coming to get me. Or he's at least in the region. I can't see what he's got. He's got a full 20 stack. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And that's, that's my border there. Let us, I have another three turns on that. Let's stay where I am. Hopefully I can hit them next turn. Again, no for you. We have no technology. Where is, I think it's here. Maximum number of convoys plus one. Yeah, that's a little bit far up. 
income from the refinery buildings, plus 10, armor type of plus 10, quartz construction time minus 1 for quartz, sorcery, cast and divide corruption from protection buildings, plus 2. All wolf raiders, let's get the improved defense for, oh in fact hang on, upkeep minus 5 all ra armies. We'll get that, I think. I mean, it's not huge, huge at this stage, because I've only got one army, but it will continue to obviously stack as I go forward. I mean, 3-3 gets me 150 off. It's something. It's something. Then I might actually think of starting to get a second army. We shall see. We shall see. See at which point I would aim for it to be a goblin army. I would get some Chaos Dwarf units, and I'd swap them. But I would look to make it a Goblin Army, and Gordas can go with it. Basically. And so that's the end of that turn. A couple of quick turns. As we slowly march to war, we're down to 98 people, and what are you doing? Who are you, and what are you doing? Your rivals have claimed a seat. Indubitable. Oh, a caravan. Oh, if only I could crush you, but I can't. So they... Peace Negotiate, Clan Rictus, and the Moon Howlers. Oh, that's a shame. So they won't be distracted anymore. Construction complete, technology researched. Wonderful. Got a little bit more back from there. Faction encountered. Flesh Greeders. Okay, technology. And now we'll do Call to War. Will we? Casualty replenishment rate plus 5%. Yeah, we'll do Call to War first. We don't want to get those casualties. He is not moved. We'll go get him eventually. Something about, I think, basically just that he hasn't moved. Yeah, it should be fine. He's up crew. Oh no, no, I think I've... Oh no, I think I can still make it. So go there, and then I have to run this... Oh no, Power of Grief. So are you guys down to... Moon Howlers are down to two settlements. Even better. Right then, so let's... Play war. He is now at war with three of us, which should also help my... ...reputation or standing with them. They are shielded. They are shielded and expendable. Expendable, expendable. And some wolf riders. Are we in a settlement or are we on open field? Oh, hello. That's an interesting one. I think I'm going to jump in and fight this just because it looks so interesting, although casualties are low. Let's go in and fight battle. It might be our only battle of this, sh this episode, so... We have to give you some fun, folks. The enemy sallied out to fight. So, yeah, we'll see exactly where he and, where and how he sets up. That's if I can see that. Of course, as always, folks, I hope you are enjoying the episode and the series so far. If you are... Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and remember to turn on your notifications so that you know when future episodes come out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so he's gone all down here. Let's try and channel some magic. Why not? I was on 15. I'm now on 14, 13, 12. Aye, aye, aye. Start deployment. What I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to send, hang on, let's start grouping. Really should replace that labor at some point. So I'm going to send, really? That seems a bit weird. Uh, they're not hidden. 
These guys probably will be, though. That's all right. We just have to make them worry about me more. So... Much too far. Might even. Oh, whoops, wrong ones. Wait, oh, the archers. So I'm going to. Guys up. I mean, is he particularly a raid anyway? He's got his archers to the front, actually. He's got his orc boys on the sides. And he's got his other guys in the middle. All his spear infantry. So... You guys out front. Where's the other guy? Yeah, he's already out front. This is a bit of a choke point, but I'm hoping that actually works out okay for me. Start the battle. Are they coming towards me? Yes, they are. In that case, you guys start moving down there. You start bombarding. So he gets dug in. He's still got the longest range out of anybody. These guys are obviously next. Or is he? Yeah, he's next. He should get dug in very, very soon. Digging. 25 seconds. Range has oh, hugely increased. This cost me. It's cost me eight. I've got fourteen. How much it cost me to overcast? Ten. Is this again? Eight. Now let's. Just. I'm not quite sure where they're going. Those guys are probably not going to make it in time. Let's throw down a lovely ash storm by there. Start melting faces. Which 
Charge in, boys. <laughs> My sneaky gits can just... Cheeky little pop sideways. <laughs> Look at them, they're just, they're just trying to run. Trying to get through these boys as best as possible. Oh, poor guys. One of them made it through. He's running. He's running. Go on, take them down. I want to cut a couple of the uh, goblin archers as well. <laughs> and then, now they go, they're running around the side. <laughs> well, let's end that there. End battle. I lost seven. They killed seven. Okay, good. No friendly fire. I... I count that as a win. I'm quite sure which seven they killed, but I count that as a win. Probably, yeah, these guys. 41, 47, I think that was at the end. Uh, 25, 75. 211 by the Kadai Fireborn. Nice. 202 from the Infernal Guard. Very nice. Wards. And... I have no idea what this has. I am going to put it as an outpost because I need raw materials. Don't so much need armaments at this stage in the life. What did I spend a whole bunch of armaments on? Hmm. What did I spend a whole bunch of armaments on? I had a lot more. Your rival, the Warhorse of Zar, has claimed a seat in the Tower of Zar. Declare war on them, get a whole bunch of money, and I get leadership when fighting greenskins. Okay. Drazor. Have some levels to go up. Where are we? Drazor. No, we're not, are we? No, we're in Goldos. We. Upkeep minus 20% for Hobgoblin units. Unit experience plus 100%. Yeah, we'll stick that straight in. Nobody else gained a unit. It was a small fight. Do I want a hobgoblin? Spices. What point? What do they get me? Income generated. 100 plus 15%. Just some free income, basically. Can't complain at that. Nice. But no, we are going to go and destroy the goblin building. They're all going to go and heal up. At which point, there we are, the dark hold. Where are we going next? Get out the Potentially, yeah. Muncher leg biter. And have you moved? Nope, you're just hanging around. So then what else we got? Building, of course. Let's have a look in here. Oh, I very nice. I can get this now. What's the point? I need to do two before we start accepting new labor. And I think uh-huh. 
Okay, we're going to... Oh, yeah, we're waiting for that. We're waiting for... Oh, so close. 40 off. This can be upgraded. It just gets me more gold. No, I think I'll wait and chuck this in. And yeah, take out these guys. Now, I would like to think with these guys, it is improving. Yes, because we are beating up the Moon Howlers. I'd like to think that's the same with most people. Can we get any quick deals? No. Trade Mistress agreements. I have a trade agreement with... Zanagrund, but no one else. No, no quick trades. Pig Barter, what a name. What a name, ladies and gentlemen. And Darkhold has me a relic, which will get me... Upkeep minus 5% for Lamassu, Great Taurus, and Bale Taurus units. Physical resistance plus 10 for Taurus units. Ability number of uses plus 2 for all, ba all Bale Taurus attacks. Faction wide. That is uh, actually very nice. So no, we're going to not build anything this turn. Cool. So, oh, hang on. More to the point, though. I think... Got a convoy on the go, haven't I? Yes. I actually think... I need to, yeah, give you the bones of the moor. Take that off him. That gives you active ability, magic missiles, use is three, range damage. Can use if out of melee, cooldown 60 seconds. Ability fire breath. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And more to the point, it gives me plus 15 armor anyway. So, getting a bit more tanky. And of course, we have poison damage and flaming attacks. Very nice indeed. So, let's end that turn there. And let's see if we can finish these guys off before. Hello, where are you going? A boon of Hashut. I don't want armaments. I don't need treasury. Conclave influence, I think. Yeah, Conclave influence. That means I can get a seat next turn. And what's the point if I look at the Tower of Zart? Where did they go? Ah, you have taken diplomatic relations, where I was hoping to go next time. And you have taken armaments per turn, fair enough. So I will probably continue to just fill this side up, to be honest. That's random weapon, that's a random follower or banner ancillary. Income from settlement buildings plus 25%. Yeah, that is 25%. It's not 2.5. I was double checking there wasn't a little dot in the middle. So I'll probably get that one, to be honest with you. Keep pushing up the money. And like I said, start leaning towards that second. No, we want... Let's just chuck this in before I basically forget. Blade Tower. Still build? We can still build. Not that one, but... Can we can get some more gold. No, obviously this is the one we want. Not load plus 300. I have two turns. Get the workload here. Uh, oh, I'm just out of range, aren't I? Oh, I don't know. Am I going to... Is it going to let me... I think I might just get the fight. No. Hey. I know that would have gone into ambush and stayed back a bit. He's got... He's got an okay force there. What's the army looking like? Oh, we got some trolls. It's not too bad, depending on what he manages to recruit this one turn. It shouldn't be too much. I'm trespassing. Oh, oops, my bad. Strategy beyond compare. I trespassed on these guys. Oopsie. That's not my fault. I mean, well, these two places bits aren't even linked. That's not good. Technically, I have to trespass on somebody. How many? How many? 
settlements you have. You've got two. I might just take you out afterwards, to be honest with you. Although, I do not like the look of Imric, if I'm perfectly honest. I don't know why. Just scares me. Although he's only level 1, so shouldn't actually be too bad. Dragon armor, armor piercing, anti-large, martial mastery. And he has a lot of archers. Look at that. That is going to be an army we charge against. We've all got light armor, though. Dragon princes. They look like they suck. And some spearmen. And Great then the actual dragons. fortress has... A lot more spearmen and a lot more archers. So that'll be fun. So yeah, I might actually just attack them next. There is a place for you on the Do you Yeah, they haven't got any relations with anybody. I wouldn't Wouldn't pull anyone else into a war. And they do have another All armies, raw materials, fifty per turn when workload requirements are met. There are no workload requirements, so that should be fine. Attrition minus 50% casualties suffered from high seas attrition. Oh, that's quite nice. That means I can potentially come out and get these guys afterwards. A recent battle site. This can be searched with a lord. So that's that. What are you saying we can do? Yep. Haunted forest. You're still going to be ignored for now. Nothing here. And nothing here, so skip over that. Let's end that turn. Lost another faction. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You behave yourself. Oh, he's definitely coming. Very, very slowly. He's creeping. Caravan arrived. Chattered Stone Bay. Treasury plus a thousand. Oh, nice. He he seems to have taken. He seems to have killed everybody, but not taken it. I mean, it's very nice of him, but it's actually kind of annoying. I get no. I'm supposed to get 116. This will. That's an outpost. I'm going to also make this an outpost. Leadership plus six. Technology done. I just obliterated the moon howlers. Settlement occupied. Just you, you just absolute pain in the ass. Uh, we need to move some labor around. We don't have that much labor because... I mean, seriously, he killed everything. That puts me not a lot clear, if I'm perfectly honest. That does put me back up to 100%. Except. That solves me for one turn. I need to basically get down here and smash these guys. I really can't believe he's gone and done that. I honestly can't. Um, that will be... The wrong... Like, I really can't believe he went and did that. I truly can't. Control. Minus 11? Is that because I went and chucked a whole bunch of late? Or is that because I left the city? It seems to make a difference. Yeah, only minus one. So we'll leave you in there for now. May as well. There's no harm in it. And uh, on that slight anti-climax, folks, that's the end of the episode. I was hoping to maybe finish on a battle or... I don't know. I was hoping, I was hoping to do something. Instead, instead, Karkadon the Vicious comes along and basically steals my thunder. Gives me a free settlement and then just keeps moving. I mean, like I said, I, sh I should be happy. I should be thanking him, but I need slaves. I need those laborers. 
Um, thanks, you bugger. Win eight battles. See, and I, I didn't win an extra battle, so that doesn't go to that. I mean, it's terrible. It's just terrible. How could it? So I have to win eight battles and get the drill. So when we come back next time, like I said, I'm probably going to take on the Knights of Calador High Elves. Is this... Oh, very nice. Um, I think. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, ah, oh, so I do start in the bottom corner. Ah, oh, so if I take these guys, apart from maybe him, he'll come and take these guys, and then I can even turn around and go back up north. Very nice indeed. Obviously, after maybe taking this guy out and getting a rune. We shall find out. We shall find out. What are you doing all the way over here? My convoy. Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, so we're nicely in the bottom corner, which I didn't realise. Map ends there. Yeah, that looks about right. All the way around here and back down here. So we will take out the elves. I'm going to hope either Zatan or this very angry Karkadon the Vicious will basically take out the Skaven down here. And like I said, we will turn around and start coming back up for Goldtooth, basically. We should be okay with these guys. Unfriendly and improving. Aversions. Treaties with the War Horses are servants of the Conclave. Really? These are rebels, basically, I think. So, yeah, they're not overly happy to see us. So, I will have to take them out at some point. I don't think... Oh, they do have trade with the servants of the Conclave. So do I, but they're angry about that. Very strange. I thought that would put us on good terms. So as I said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to leave it there. When we come back next time, we will continue the great push for Drazoth the Ashen to become the Chosen of Hashut. I hope you have all enjoyed the episode, and I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And until next time, stay ha safe, stay happy, and stay healthy. I'll catch you next time, folks.